Well, hello, it's Craig Otten here with MaritimeGardening.com. Uh, a little bit cooler tonight than normal, so getting a bit of a break from black flies. They're around, but they're really not too aggressive. I was out this morning around 5.30 in the morning, and there was frost, if not ice, all over the place here. Uh, even though it's approaching the middle of May, well, we're still getting some pretty hard frost. I would say that was what you would call a hard frost uh, last night. Uh, anything that was exposed last night would, would have suffered. I've got um, tomatoes that I started in one of my cold frames over here, direct seeded a week ago. They all germinated quickly. And uh, that temperature last night, a couple of them didn't make it. Some of them are still alive, so we'll see. Um, and those are like Vessi seeds, top of the line, not very cheap seeds uh, that are supposed to be blight, right? blood resistant and uh, supposed to be really good seeds. So I hope I don't lose them all. I hope I didn't plant them too, too early. You just never know with these things. You could be a, be a week early. I wanted to make a correction. Um, when I was pulling all the stuff out of the box, when I was doing that unboxing video, I said that the potatoes were blight resistant. Uh, I don't know if they are or they are not, but the main thing when I bought, when I chose those varieties was they were scab resistant, not blight resistant. Oh, it looks like the flies are here. Great. Um, anyway, scab resistant. I had potato, I didn't have potato blight last year. I had scab, some of my, some of them. Not the ones I grew in the hugel culture beds, but in some other spots I had blight. And I still haven't dug the potatoes that I buried underground to keep over winter out. I don't know if those ones were blighted or not. I really. They didn't seem to be, but sometimes you don't know until you look a second time. I'll certainly know when they come out of there. I'll have to do a video on that, uh, maybe in a week. Uh, I just don't have the time to plant them right now. But uh, I may plant some potatoes tonight. So all I was going to do tonight, as long as I've got some battery, was to take you around with me and show you some of the things I'm doing tonight. The two things I plan to do tonight, if the flies don't scare me out of here, is uh, I've got some spinach that I started in a cold frame that need to come out of there. So I'm just going to show you how I move them. And uh, they're doing great. It's supposed to be overcast tomorrow, so it's a good day to move those. I'll also show you another trick I do just to ensure uh, success. And uh, if I have time and there's battery left on my camera, I'll plant some potatoes real quick. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so I got all this beautiful spinach um, in this cold frame. And uh, Really, they don't need to be in a cold frame anymore. They need to be outside because the cold frame's too hot if the lid comes down. If I leave uh, for work someday and this lid comes down somehow, these things are going to cook. So I got to get them out of here. So I've got to find a place to put them and I got to dig them out. I'll show you how I do that. All right, so here we are. I'm just going to get this paper out of the way. It should be weak enough that it'll just sort of pull. The plants too much, throwing it off like that. Maybe should have wet it first. But... All right, good. Well, some of these are getting big. I hate to move them, but uh, it's got to be done. All right, so here's all you got to do. Or all I do anyway is I just get my hands down underneath it and lift. All right, so that way I got all the fine root hairs. Right? And the plant's not interrupted too much. Um, this is certainly not root bound. Right now I just gotta go stick it in the ground somewhere. So here's a bed with some spaces here. This is a uh, lettuce over here. But I got some room here, I got a bit of real estate. So why not use it to park one of these spinach? Big old worm right there. Whew. They love the seaweed. Don't let anyone tell you they don't like seaweed. It's a myth. All right, so I just dig that and pop it in. Try to get the seaweed around it as best as possible. Like that. And that one's done. Now, I think this is going to need a day or so to recover from being moved like this. So I'll show you what I do. You just find something like this, right? A little branch off a tree. Stick it over like that. 
just leave it like that for a couple days and uh, that'll give it the time it needs to adjust. Of course I have to water these, but I'll water them tomorrow morning, not tonight. Uh, it's never good to water things at night and it'll be fine for the night. At least that's my opinion. Alright, so I'm just going to continue on doing this. I want you to see how rich and soft this soil is. Uh, it's getting dark and there isn't a lot of light, but I think you'll get it. This has not been tilled or worked or anything. I mean, all I did, you can tell the, the remainder of the garden here, I got this heating up because I'm going to plant squash here. It just had hay over it all winter long, that's it. But look how easy it is for me to get in with my hands, right, to plant these nice, big, beautiful spinach transplants. It's just beautiful stuff, right? Look at that. Beautiful stuff. Full of worms. Happy soil. Happy soil is happy plants. But one more to do here. All right, pop this one in. That's just about the end of my battery. I didn't get this one out very well. I think I mucked him up a bit. He probably survived, but I think he'll take a bit of a beating. Okay, I'm just going to cover these with uh, some branches and stuff. Leave it like that for a few days, maybe a week at the most, and then uh, they should be okay. That just will protect them from the extremes. Too much sun or too much cold at night. Doesn't that look nice? Just a little spot I had to tuck those in. The rest of this here bug guard is going to be cucumbers or zucchini. So I had a little space there, right, to do something with. So a good place for spinach. So alright, not enough time to do uh, potatoes tonight. I'm going to plant some, but I can't film when I'm out of battery. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Alright, so I hope you found that uh, useful. I hope that gave you some good ideas. And uh, I don't think the flies got me too bad tonight. So uh, if you enjoyed this content, please uh, subscribe, share, like, sub bell, check out my podcast, MaritimeGarden.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it, and even if there's flies, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.